everybody, welcome back to the NC Real Estate YouTube channel. I am so, so happy you're over here. This week, I am gonna be talking to you about how, when you start getting into property, do you know who to trust, who to respect, and where you get your information from. When you're wanting to get into the property industry, who on earth do you trust? Where do you get the right information from? What do you even do? And this video is going to be all about a really quick introduction to what you should do if you're really just considering of getting into the industry, having a feel for what it's about and seeing where you fit in. Because I really firmly believe that anybody, no matter who you are, if you want to come into the property industry, it's an open industry and you can do anything you possibly want. All you need to do is get the correct information and then slot yourself in and really enjoy it. It's a place where you can make money if you want to, but you can also really, really enjoy yourself and have a great career from it. It's also an industry which is completely changing on a daily basis. As the world evolves, as different materials, different things get better and bigger and the world's population demands for space increase, this gives property professionals an ever expansive job and I think you should get really excited about that. So if you've made the decision to jump on into the property industry, good for you, there's so much over here. So if you're first jumping in, I've got a real good couple of tips for you. My first one would to be go to all the professional bodies and read the advice they give. You've got the RICS, which is the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. You've got ARLA, who or do all the residential side of things rather than commercial which the RICS specialises in although they do re residential guidance too you've also got the National Landlord Association you've got the Property Ombudsman you've got so many regulated bodies who are in the property industry and will give you knowledge to help you out and that would be my first point of call because you know that whatever you're getting from them is going to be correct, true, regulated you name it, you know you're getting the correct information, so you can't start off on the wrong foot. But I also get it, there are so many coaches, mentors, trainers, you know, whatever you want it, you name it, it's out there. To start off with, let me tell you that most people have got a lot of free information that they give away. I mean, even take my website, NC Real Estate, I give away so many blogs and still I go out there and I've got clients who I, who also love my services and are willing to pay for them as well. So everybody I know out there who's doing a, offering a service in property will give you something for free and I would go out there and check exactly what they do, whether you like their style, you enjoy listening to them, you enjoy reading their stuff and if you find what they're doing trustworthy. It's got to be a little bit about gut as well. And then I would start asking questions. Join the Facebook groups that they put up, join the, their LinkedIn profiles, join Twitter. Get to know them on social media and start asking other people who have had experience with them what they feel and actually if they think that they're true, honest and what they can give. That's huge because not every person who wants to teach you about property can give you everything that you want. So doing the previous research means that you can get a good idea of where you want to fit into the property industry and then you can go and find experts who teach that, who can give you information on that and who can really help you on your journey. Now there are certain things that I think you should be really, really worried about. Get rich quick schemes. No! It doesn't happen like that. In property, even if you're building a property portfolio, unless you've got hundreds of thousands of pounds, even millions of pounds, you're not going to build a property portfolio super quickly that's actually going to make you a huge amount of cash flow. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it doesn't happen overnight. These things take time, they take practice, they take working hard at. And so jumping into the property industry, you have to be prepared that you're gonna to have to go on a learning curve and learn all the skills you need and then go out and test them. And when you're testing skills, things might not always go right first time. So you're in it for the journey. And anybody who tells you otherwise, I 
would say it's a little bit dodgy. That's my opinion. And I would really urge you on the side of caution with them because nothing happens overnight. Yes, people might eventually make making money look easy, but they've probably been in the game for a lot longer than you think they have. So be wary of that. And anybody who's gonna sell you a sob story to get onto their program, you know, oh my gosh, I was homeless, and then I found a credit card, or someone lent me some money, and now I'm a millionaire. <sighs> be wary of that too, because actually, who cares about the sub story? All you need to know is that you can get information from them and that you trust and care about the information as well. It's got to be about how you feel about it and whether you feel confident that they can actually give you a proper education. Let me tell you something. There are people out there who have just made it on their own and there's people out there who have gone out there and got an education through the property industry. They've been helping other people do it for years and they've also done it themselves make sure you're checking their credentials, make sure you're checking their background, and also see if they're regulated with any of the regulated bodies. That's huge, because if they're regulated, for example, with ARLA, or the, the NLA, or the RICS, or the Property Ombudsman, it means that they've got standards to follow, and if they don't follow those standards, you can actually go and claim against them and probably get them shut down. So it's more likely that those people aren't gonna be giving you rubbish advice, because they've got a lot at stake. Obviously, they've set up a company, they've bothered to go, go through the accreditations, they've then put themselves out there. It's not like they're gonna be thinking, oh yeah, it's fine, if I get struck off, then you know, I'll just go back and do it again. It's not like that. You get struck off, you're not going back. So make sure that you're getting in contact with people who actually are regulated, know what's going on in the industry, and have a history with the industry. If they don't, be really worried about it because how can you trust that they know what they're doing if they haven't done it before? So my advice to you, to put it really, really simply, go out there and search for all the regulated bodies that get involved in the, in the property industry and read through their information. Go out and buy books about it, see who you trust, start listening to podcasts, start reading blogs, start really getting involved with the different people across the property industry and start deciding what you want to do. And look, not everything in the property industry is gonna be for you. Trust me, I know, I've been in it long enough. I don't enjoy doing everything in the property industry, but find your niche and stick with it because that's actually where the money starts to come. Because if you become an expert in something, all of a sudden you can start to make money with that because you're adding value to the industry. And that's what you've got to be aiming to do, add value. So once you've finished reading podcasts and you've kind of got an idea of what's going on in the industry, who you like, who you don't like, start getting reviews and speaking to people honestly, like really asking questions of them. How did you enjoy this person's service? What do you think of them? And don't just go with one review, go and speak to a couple of people. Because honestly, that'll give you a feel for what, this, what a person can do for you, how they can help you and how they teach you and what their methods are. So make sure that you're going out and doing enough research. And look, if you come across someone you start working with and you think, ooh, it's not working for me, what do I do, how do I get out of it? Always go to the person who's teaching you and explain the problem. And if they're willing to rectify it and they've just gone, ooh, sorry, I didn't realize it, they're probably quite a trustworthy person actually. They probably just want the best for you. But if they start getting a little bit like aggressive with it, ask for a refund and get the hell out. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's my biggest piece of advice. But come on into the property industry and get excited about it. Do your research on what you want to do and then go and learn about how you get there and just talk to as many people as possible and this is where you find the trustworthy people. Look, it's all trial and error along the way and if you don't land on your feet first time, don't worry, there's other people out there who really, really care and I promise you, will help you out. And if you want any advice, helps, tips, tricks, get in contact with me. Email me, natasha at ncrealestate.co.uk. I am not gonna charge you to ask me how you get into the industry. And trust me, if you're not the right fit for me, I would prefer you to go and get a better education from someone else who really can give that to you. So don't be afraid that you're gonna get in contact with me and I'm gonna give you a sales pitch I'm not. I'm actually a very, very friendly person. I want to hear from you and I want to find out what you want to do. So get in contact with me if you do need any help and I can 
point you in the right direction. And look, if you have any problems along the way, also get in contact with me. I'm more than happy to discuss it with you and offer you a, a little bit of advice if you need it. That's fine. You know, that's just part of me being in the property industry and really enjoying it. I like to give people information. That's what I do. So I hope this, this video has been useful for you. I really, really do. And I've, again, if you have any problems, do ask. But I urge you that if you want to be in this industry, go and get started. It's super excited. It's exciting. Why wait? Go and do it right now. So that's it, that's the end of this video. Now I want to ask you a question and I want you to write it in the comments section below. Have you just got into property and what are you finding really, really helpful? Have you got into property and you've had a bad experience? Who? What would you advise my viewers to avoid? Put it in the comments section below, I'd love to hear from you because any information you've got, any comments you've got, will help someone else and that is so, so, so important. So thank you very much for coming over and watching this video. Again, I've loved, 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 loved having you. Don't forget to head on over to www.ncrealestate.co.uk where all the fun and property expertise, advice, tips and tricks never stops. We've got everything for you over there. So head on over and read the blog and also click on the Facebook logo icon and join my Facebook group. It's private, but it's called Property Investment Mastery and I go over there on a daily basis and I put all little tip tips, tricks, reminders, everything you need to be a property investment success. So make sure you check that out. Right, thank you for coming and I'll see you next week.